everybody got a IP recap uh, from last Tuesday. So this was before my David Wright event that I went to. It was the Wilson Hot Stove event in North Carolina. So they had a bunch of guys who played in the 60s, 50s, 70s. A couple of recent guys as well, so I'll get into it. They had a social hour at the uh, Wilson North Carolina Baseball Museum. So my friend and I, we drove down to that first. Uh, so starting off, we got my team, Montgomery. He did two of two for me. He was really nice. He was the first guy that showed up. And the museum down there was awesome. So if you're ever in Wilson, you should check it out. There's a lot of cool stuff. So we get two from Monty. Now I'm probably going to have to figure out where uh, Lance is. Pretty sure he's actually dead, but if he's alive, nice to finish that duel. And uh, next up, got Tracy Woodson on 9 of 9, but I gave one to my dad afterwards. So he did 8 of 8, and he's pretty active. He's the head coach for University of Richmond baseball. So nice getting him. It's a pretty nice autograph. He's actually from Richmond as well, so he said, I was talking about coaching at Richmond, he said it's pretty nice since he's home. So, yep, that's Tracy Woodson. Next up, got a page done by Jim Holt. Another really nice guy. All these guys, though, for the most part, are pretty old, so... When you're trying to talk to them, you, they don't quite, quite uh, understand what you're saying, but still nice to get all these guys. I wouldn't see otherwise. He said this is his favorite card that he has. And I think this is his rookie card. Yep, so really nice autograph too. Keep having some Jim Holtz here. Uh, next up, Al Holland showed up. He had a pretty solid career. He played for a couple different teams. Uh, he was doing four per. I had a bunch of different cards for him. But uh, the first four I got him him on. Uh, first one, of course, got him on his Pirates card. The Pirates collection. And then the first time I asked him, I got him on these other three cards. Phillies. Giants. And that Giants card, he definitely is kind of a really nice, but you, he's not like uh, all all there. I would say he's really cool, but you can kind of tell he's not completely with it. And then next up, we got Fred Valentine, four of four, really nice autograph. So that's the nice thing about these guys; they all have really nice autographs, and they take their time take pride in the autograph so it's nice to get Fred that's a I think this is a yep this is a 64 and then this is a set that I really love it's the current heritage set well it'll be last year's heritage set now but I love that set and then I got John Donaldson my friend made this custom card of him and then he also has these couple cards. We got another guy who's really nice. Again, on another one of these set cards that I love. And then, next up, a guy that I actually got to see play, Elliot Johnson, who I'm actually familiar with, and he was really cool. He was surprised that people actually knew he was going to be there. Can I see the autograph? But, yep. Yeah happy to get him if you're in Durham area he's actually gonna call some home games so for the Bulls so keep an eye out for him if you live by Durham I guess I really like the way this card turned out looks really cool so that was it for the social art museum 
that was everyone who showed up for that. Uh, so it went really well for the social hour part. So then after the actual banquet, uh, the main two guests of honor that night were Chris Hatcher, who was a keynote speaker, and then Mackenzie Gore was also going to be there. He was accepting award. So as soon as we got there, uh, looked around kind of in the banquet area and saw not a lot of guys showed up yet. So I waited out by the hallway, and basically as soon as I did that, Chris Hatcher came up, and he was doing uh, one per. So I got him on one. One of the four. And then not long after he showed up, uh, Kenzie Gore walked by. And he was actually signed whatever put in front of him, which is pretty surprising. In the season, he was pretty tough from everything I understand. So the reason he definitely was signing whatever is definitely because of the setting, not because he'll sign whatever. But I got him on three of three. I didn't bring a ton for him. So elite. And he went a little off card there at the end, but looks still looks really good. And then I went back into the hall and I got Scott Post. He did page for me. Another guy who was really nice. Really like this uh, Marlins card. Turned out nice. And then after I got Scott, a guy who was there, he, I guess he didn't want to bother Mackenzie again, so he was just asking if anyone would take a couple cards, and yeah, you could keep one, so I did that for him. So I got three cards signed, and I got to keep this one, so that was nice. I also asked Chris Hatcher again, um, that was for my dad, so I gave that to my dad, and a little kid was behind me, so I gave him another one of the cards I had, because I didn't want to bother him anymore afterwards. Then after that, I got Tim Talton, who my friend made custom cards of. This is actually from his like 1961 or 62 Heritage High number card, but my friend just photoshopped the other half off and made it into a custom. And then he also made uh, this custom card. This from an image he found online. So yeah, got Tim. And then another guy who we were both pretty happy to get, a friend made customs of. Bill Harrington, he played in the 50s. He doesn't have any cards at all, so it's pretty nice to get him. And he has a really nice autograph. And then got a page from Mike Caldwell. Pretty funny with him. Uh, we are getting him to sign right as the event was starting, so everyone was sitting down, and the I guess the introduction, introductory speaker was talking and everyone was looking at the back as uh, he was signing for us but it's cool and he was really nice he was just talking the whole time about all the silly stuff in his cards like in this card he said he had a first base mid on he just got done fielding or in field practice so they just threw that glove at him and he told him it's time to take a picture for his card and then I got Al Holland again On four more. And then uh, lastly, I got uh, Billy Harris on two. With another really nice autograph. So, yep, that's the recap. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, see y'all later. Peace.